Hey, what's going on guys? Chad here with Greenlight Shooting, and uh, I just kind of wanted to preface this video a little bit. So, I'm out here on vacation with my wife's family, and uh, someone in the family just recently got out of Marine Boot Camp, and he's a machine gunner, and uh, I had the opportunity earlier today just to sit down with him and talk with him, and it was really cool, and I thought you guys might want to experience that as well, and just uh, hear what he has to say. He's a really, really good person, and... He's young, man. He's 19 years old, but he's absolutely one of the best men that I've ever gotten to know. He's really got his priorities straight. He's, he's grounded. He's a good person, and he's doing things for the right reason, I think. And uh, I just thought it would be cool for you guys to see how he's balancing marine life with family life, with what he's going through right now. So, anyways... Uh, Enjoy this little interview with him, and uh, I hope that you you can tell as much as I can tell that he's really a good good dude. So, uh, Lance Corporal Blewett, you're the man. Thanks for sitting down and talking with me. I'm Lance Corporal Blewett. Um, 19 years old. Been in the Marine Corps only for about seven months. I got out of training, SOI, just about a month ago. School of Infantry. This month of. Uh, basic infantry training and then my machine gunner training. I'm an 0331, which is machine gunner. I think it's something I felt like I had to do. Like if I didn't do it, I would regret it. Brotherhood always attracted me and uh, something I wanted to do for a long time. And I wouldn't be complete until I did it, so. Cool, how'd, uh, how'd your family feel about it? Uh, they weren't super supportive. My dad wanted me to go to school. Uh, my mom was just kind of scared about the whole marine thing, uh, so there's a lot of button heads, but, you know. What was the hardest part about boot camp for you? Um, the distance, you can only communicate through letters, which made it really hard, just because I found out, um, my wife was pregnant while I was there through a letter, which made it like, whoa. Um, I couldn't call her, couldn't talk to her, couldn't be with her through all that, so that uh, that really sucked. But and it just like made it go really slow. You can't talk to anyone like outside um, those gates. I mean, you're not supposed to talk to your, the fellow recruits. Um, so yeah, just the distance I think is the hardest part. I mean, it makes it, it's a lot different because when I was going into the Marine Corps, I wasn't expecting to get married right away or to be having a baby in a couple months. Uh, so now it's. It's definitely different because instead of like if I get deployed worrying about one person, it's three, which makes it um, tougher. But at the same time, you know, it's more to fight for. Um, and to be successful in the Marine Corps, I have more drive other than just myself. I do have fears of being deployed, just the distance uh, from my family because in combat deployments, you don't, you don't have your cell phone. You might get one or two phone calls within, you know, seven months you know back home so that would suck I do I, I mean that's why I signed up I do want to go on deployment at, at some point but again it's difficult with the family now I don't know it's kind of it's hard to answer the question like oh why are you why do you want to be a marine why are you marine without sounding super I don't know just generic and like all oh, you know we're the greatest country ever I just wanted to serve I mean that it, honestly when it comes down to it, that is pretty much why I mean some I guess a little bit to prove to myself um, but other than that, you don't you don't join the Marine Corps for yourself necessarily. I think most Marines do it for um, something greater. But um, if I yeah, if I can say anything to my son, I think I'll just tell him like. You know what's right, you know what's wrong, you always have that gut feeling, and if you're questioning something, just go with your gut, you'll, you'll be able to tell. Um, and if you don't, if, it's, if you're questioning it to, to the point where you can't make a decision, talk to somebody you trust, but just go back to your roots, um, the morals you grew up with, or that the people around you have, and um, you know, just do the right thing.